A statue of the late Baroness Margaret Thatcher was unveiled in Port Stanley as a tribute to the former Prime Minister. The bust was officially unveiled by Margaret Thatcher's son, who was honoured to have travelled from the UK to pay homage to his family name in the Falklands. Um, I rather like that. <laughs> um, it is indeed, and it's the first time I've seen it apart from the photo. And I particularly note and like the fact that um, the sculptor has included uh, the Union Jack on my mother's lapel. I think that's entirely fitting and gets an important message across. Um, this is my first time to the Falkland Islands, and I'm extremely, extremely fortunate and greatly honoured to be here uh, to unveil this bust of my mother, uh, who I know would be equally honoured and very humble that you, the Falkland Islanders, have bestowed upon her such an honour. To many residents here in the Falklands, Margaret Thatcher is considered a hero. A hero for her steely and steadfast approach across the 1982 conflict and for recapturing the islands for Britain. Had it not been for the bravery and determination of your mother in standing up to the naked aggression when Argentina invaded, we would not be the country we are now. The bust itself sits neatly next to Thatcher Drive and adjacent to the 1982 memorial, a place only too fitting for the late Baroness. It's certainly where we would, would like her to be as, as Falkland Islands, because it's, it's what she is associated, associated with. I mean, to the Falklands, Margaret Thatcher was our Winston Churchill. The eight-foot-high statue stands on a stone plinth, bearing a brass plaque with a quotation from a speech Thatcher made during her visit to the Falklands in 1983. It reads, They are few in number, but they have the right to live in peace to choose their own way of life and determine their own allegiance. Words that most certainly still ring true and remind many islanders of the day that Thatcher freed the Falklands. It takes me straight back to um, the 3rd of April, the day afterwards when Parliament was recalled in, uh, in London and we were all sitting here in the Falklands just totally devastated and overwhelmed and shocked by what had happened the day before and not knowing what was going to happen to us, what our future was going to be. Uh, and when she stood up in Parliament and announced that a task force was being assembled and the first ships would be sailing uh, within, within a couple of days or so, um, that, from that day onwards, I think none of us here in the Falklands had any doubt as to what the outcome was going to be. We just knew that our freedom was going to be restored to us. We didn't know how or when, but we just knew it, it was going to, it, you know, everything was going to be okay in, in, in the end. The creator behind the artistry is local sculptor and taxidermist Steve Massam, who accepted the challenge almost 18 months ago. And now, here it is. Yeah, extraordinary. Yeah, I, you know, I was always, I suppose, at the back of my mind, concerned how um, the Falkland Islanders, the Islanders themselves, would would find it. You know, it's because um, it's my representation of uh, Margaret Thatcher going from photographs, but. Um, you know, it's, but it's, all the feedback I've got has been positive, so it's, it's been fantastic. And especially from Mark Thatcher himself, you know, it, it was, you know he was um, quite taken with it and uh, his comments were very positive as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> January 10th will now forever be known as Margaret Thatcher Day, where for years to come, Islanders will continue to celebrate the day when 32 years ago from now, Lady Thatcher first visited the Falklands. A day where she will always be remembered. This is Sophie Dolson, reporting for FITV News.